Hi, I'm Bruce Brown, and I'm here to report that olive oil is really good for your skin. I've been doing a test for about a week, and I'm pretty pleased with the way it's worked out. Now, I read a tweet on Twitter by Sandy Guerrier uh, about a week or so ago. Uh, she, Sandy is a local makeup artist, and she also blogs about many things, including environmental concerns and stuff. Great lady. And anyway, she wrote an article, or rather had a, had a little tweet, and then had that pointed to a blog post where she wrote a longer article about using extra virgin olive oil on your skin because it sort of feeds your skin and is good for you and all that. And well, you know, I love olive oil extra virgin olive oil anyway, and I put it on almost everything. I cook eggs with it, I put it on bread, just like lots of times if I'm working on the computer early in the morning, I just grab a cup of hot coffee, some crusty or grainy bread, and a thing of olive oil and dip it and just go crazy with it. I love it. So anyway, I'm a big olive oil fan, and I tried it on my skin for about a week, and I've been very, very pleased. Now, I do have to tell you, I, had, I tried one thing that didn't work out so hot because I've got this great brother-in-law named, well, we'll just call him Pastor Carl. He's, he's a, a minister of a church in New England, on a, and he, they live in a windy little road, and in his basement, he goes down, he has, gets all these secret ingredients together, and he concocts something he calls Pastor Carl's Fit to be Tied hot pepper oil or something like that because it's got uh, Thai chili peppers in it and some other secret ingredients and I tried that on my face not a good idea uh, they're pretty hot it's not it's a super hot pepper it's not super hot as an oil but you know if you're eating it but if you put it on your skin I noticed that after about two or three hours after I put it on uh, you know using after I shaved and stuff um, it felt a little funny. It wasn't like I felt, it wasn't burning and it wasn't really tingling, but it just felt odd enough that after I tried it for two days, I figured, well, you know what, I'll just go back to regular, you know, uninfused extra virgin olive oil. And so I've been using that and man, I love it. So Sandy, a big shout out to you because man, I love this stuff. And what the heck? If I'm ever at a restaurant and I, my salad's too dry, I can always rub the lettuce against my face. So that'll work. Thanks, Andy. Appreciate it.